about the scarabs and the click beetles and the longhorn beetles and the fungus beetles and the lightning bugs and the leaf beetles and the weevils. We'll talk about those. The next family that we were going to talk about are the scarabs. Scarabaeidae. The scarab beetles, if you want to talk about a huge group of insects, those are the scarab beetles, man. There's so many subfamilies of them, okay? And so we're not going to talk about the subfamilies right now. All scarab beetles have six ventrites. That's going to be an ox beetle. These guys up here, though, are flower shavers. Yes. This is what we call Chrysina gloriosa. Or, or the glorious jewel scarab. So this is Chrysina lacantii. It has coppery legs. Chrysina bayeri. They have metallic purple legs. Chrysina woodi. It has metallic blue tarsi. So this is a ten-lined June beetle, and it has what we call lamellate antenna. All right. If we're counting ventrites, one, two, three, four, five, and then the one under the legs, six. So the next family we're going to do are jewel beetles. They tend to be beautiful metallic colors, um, but on the underside, it's got this hinge. All jewel beetles are going to have this kind of projection. We're talking about click beetles. All click beetles are going to have this. This is their hinge, and it's how they click. An eastern-eyed click beetle right up here. Lysids. These are going to be the net-winged beetles. So it almost looks like their elytra have veins. And a lot of times, if you look at the elytra at the edges, they are not parallel, right? These guys kind of expand past the side of the abdomen. And I want to show you a soldier beetle really quick. You can see the head from above, and the sides of the elytra, right here and right here, are parallel. This is a Lampyridae. They are lightning bugs. You might be surprised that not all lightning bugs glow. There are some day flying lightning bugs that don't have glowing organs. You can't see the head from above. It's right here. We can check out its glowing organ right here. Lightning bugs are fun. It is a Trogocidid. Also called a bark gnawing beetle. You can see that its body is kind of narrow and parallel along the side. I think that they're kind of cigar shaped. My favorite insects that I've collected, I've collected them in Arizona. This is a pleasing fungus beetle. They have a three segmented club. One, two, three segments long. This right here is the coxy. All pleasing fungus beetles have these coxy that are circular like these. This is our native ladybug. Right where this antenna is coming out, right about here, there's going to be a notch in the eye. Next family is going to be the Tenebrionids. You'll notice that the eye is reniform or kidney shaped. All right, so if you imagine this ridge going from the mouth all the way back down to the eye, it's got these compound eyes that have this notch and it has antenna that connect underneath that ridge. We're going to talk about the Meloids. Those guys are the blister beetles. Their um, head tucks down um, when they're startled or after they die. This is the pronotum right here, and you can see that it is narrower than the head, and it's narrower than its elytra, or the shoulders right here. I like this blister beetle because it's a lightning bug mimic. They can be these orange with the yellow and black stripes, the cute little dots. The Cerebicids. The longhorn beetles have long antenna. I mean, really long. They also have those same notched eyes. The antenna is notched into this compound eye. We're going to do the Chrysomelids. Their common name are leaf beetles, and they have fluffy feet. His tarsi are very dark. So it's kind of difficult to see, but what you can see are the fluffs. So you see all of this, this light coloration right here and right here. Those are the long hairs on the bottom of his tarsi that you're seeing. All right. And if we were going to count the tarsi, we can say one, two, three, four, right? 
and each leg is going to look like this. The Brentids are what we call the straight snouted weebles. This is going to be my Brented. They have a little itty itty bitty chewing mouth part on the end of this snout. And the snout is just an elongation of its head. And if we zoom out a little bit to check out these antenna, you can see that there is not a place in, in these antenna where they bend at 90 degrees. Then you have the snout beetles or the snouted weevils. Those are the cuculeonids. We can call them the basic weevils even. Antenna bend at a 90 degree angle. This is his snout down here and his antenna connect to the snout. And you can see right here, it bends at a 90 degree angle. So there are more things to come with my collection. We will eventually run out of orders and families to identify down into, and I do plan on continuing to ID the insects further. I'm so happy we got all the beetles done. I'm Insectopia. Find me on, well, find me on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. I exist out there in the world, and I'd love to interact with you and talk about bugs and pictures and all of the things. So, um, signing out, and I want, hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye! <laughs>